Hi, my name is Kay and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I don't have an intro, so this is what you're getting. Uh, I asked the people on Instagram land, as I often do, what do you want to see? And everyone was like, hey, trans tape review, because I started using this stuff about a month ago. So I'm going to give you my little review on it. Is it worth it? Pros and cons. It versus a binder. Just all the good stuff and... Maybe you'll see if you want to try it or not. That, I don't know. This is just to be helpful. Uh, it's an alternative to a binder. And, you know, I'm just going to go and do it. Ooh. So, this is trans tape. Normally what it looks like, or a good vague idea of what it looks like. Uh, it comes in three shades. comes in three sizes. And uh, it ranges around, like, $13 to $15. Um... And if you want to like look at it, I will link their like website in my description. Um, but I started using this stuff a month or so ago. I've used it about five times. Uh, keep it on for like three or four days. Uh, and then I'll take it off and let my skin breathe for a couple of days. That's just like the big idea. I'm not going to get into like how to take it on and off or put it on and off in this video because there are plenty of other tutorials that explain it a lot better than I could explain it. This is just gonna be like, ooh, review. I'm gonna tell you, uh, when you put it on for the first time, it's not gonna be fun, or at least it wasn't fun for me. I watched uh, quite a few tutorials about like how to put it on correctly because there are a lot of different ways to put it on. So I, like, I found a tutorial, I was like, this, this could work and the people in the tutorial make it look a lot easier than it is because they're skilled at putting it on so if you get it for the first time and try to put it on and like it's not working as well as it's working for them it could just be because you just need more practice to put it on I think about like the third time I put it on I actually was getting the results that the other people were getting so don't be too hard on yourself if you like get it and then are confused about how to put it on because <laughs> I feel like that's just it's just a learning curve taking it off is interesting um this stuff is really intense and can easily damage your skin if you like don't take it off correctly uh trans tape does sell like a removing oil but through like other tutorials and stuff I've watched it seems that like any oil could work so I use coconut oil i just got this for three bucks because i didn't want to pay more shipping for just like a blend of oils um so i just like scoop my shit in there and like saturate the fuck out of it leave it on for a couple of minutes not a couple of minutes like 20 minutes um and sometimes even like after that 20 minutes and the oil is like sitting on it hop into the shower and like take it off because i did take it off incorrectly last time and you could definitely see that my skin was not happy with me so please please do take care of your like skin afterwards i like i said let my skin heal for a couple of days so i i just reapplied it after like maybe two or three days of letting my skin heal and putting like healing lotion on it um trans tape also sells like a, a healing balm which will like soothe in s your skin and stuff, but I already have like a healing lotion. So while this is very comfortable and it definitely probably the most comfortable like alternative to binding, it still does have its like dangers as all binding does. So please do your research about like how to take care of your skin and you can't live in this for like a month, even if it is like actually bulletproof because you can like swim and shower and work out and sleep in trans tape it's so unlike like a regular binder where you can only wear it for eight hours you can like work out in it and i personally don't go swimming in my binder because I, something about it like spending like up to like 50 dollars on it i don't want to like put it in chlorine or or a pond that's just per personal preference obviously you can't sleep with the binder so there are pros and cons to these things. So I mentioned I got the small size. So I normally use around uh, 12 little squares every time I do put on trans tape. I will put a photo of here what it normally looks like, but I'll normally use one square as like a little a nipple guard. I use like three squares on the top and do the thing and then three squares on the bottom on each side. 
So, so far I've used like 48 was yesterday. Add another 12 onto that, something like that. I've used over 50 squares in my five uses. Oh my God, my nose is like, I can't spurs all over me. So this stuff does last you quite a bit. I've used it five times. I still have quite, quite a long thing of it, but obviously it will add up fast. So if you, I have a, a smaller chest, so that's why I chose the smaller size, but in the future, just to get more bang for my buck, I will probably get the large. So, cause I saw someone cut the large in half and they basically got double the product. So there are ways to make it last longer. I just um, am stupid. And you might be thinking, oh, Kaden, if you have a smaller chest, does this work for larger chests? The general consensus is yes, it does, but it is less effective than like your average like JC2V binder. Um, I'll put a chart here of like how to do it with a larger chest because obviously my image is something that you're not gonna wanna follow because our, our anatomy is different. But I will say, I feel like the comfort could be potentially worth it, but I will lay out some pros and cons for you. If you're thinking about it, um, you just wanna try a different form of binding or you've never binded before, but you don't wanna like spend $50 on a binder, um, you have the money, it's safe for you to order it. I think, in my like, per in my personal opinion, I think you might as well just go for it and try it. It's not like a lot of money to try it out. And if it doesn't work out, I don't think like it's gonna break your bank or you're gonna like regret it. I know a lot of people are gonna ask, is it better than a binder? And I'm going to say, it depends on your personal like experience or opinion, your situation like all of that, I think it's really subjective. For me, I think it is a lot better than a binder because I want something to just, I just want to put it on and not think about it at all. And with this, I don't really have to do that. I put it on for a couple of days. Sometimes I like forget it's there because it's like really comfortable. It's still giving me enough flatness as for I'm comfortable to wear like tighter shirts like I did here. Um, I can like shower in it. I can sleep shirtless. Dude, I can post shirtless photos. Like, so for me, it works amazing. And for my body type, it also works great. Um, but if you have a larger chest, you may not get as much flatness as you would with like a, a, like a regular binder, but you would be more comfortable. You could sleep and work out in it, swim in it. Um, so it really just depends on you and your dysphoria and how comfortable you are with your chest. And if you want to just get a binder because you want to experience like maximum flatness, um, and you don't really care about having to like take it off after eight hours, it really is just like up to you. So like the pros of trans tape, in my opinion, you can swim in it, you can sleep in it you can shower in it, you can keep it on for a couple of days. Uh, it's a lot more comfortable in my opinion. You can sleep shirtless. Um, it does flatten you out a decent amount um, and it is more inexpensive for like the one-time purchase uh, compared to a binder. Cons of trans tape is um, Getting it on can be a learning curve. Taking it off can be a pain in the ass. Uh, you're not gonna get as flat as you would with a binder and people with larger chests may not experience as much flatness as you would like. And it is generally not the best for your, your skin. You have to take like a couple of days to let your skin heal. And overall, it's just a lot more tricky to work with than a binder. Pros of a binder, maximum flatness, uh, easier to take on and off. Works better with all body types. It's not like a huge learning curve to like figure out. Um, I do think it's a pro that it's just like a one-time big like investment. It's gonna last you long. It's more durable. Cause with trans tape, you can only put it on and like take it off. Like you can't, once you take it off, you can't reuse it. So like the stuff I got on me now, I, I'm gonna take it off and I'm gonna throw it away. You can't, you can't use it again. Um, so with a binder, you can use it multiple times. It's gonna last you a long time and it's not gonna add up as quickly as trans tape will if you use a lot of it. Uh, cons of a binder, you can't 
sleep in it. You can't work out in it. I personally don't swim in it. Uh, it's less comfortable. <laughs> so if you already have a binder and you want to try out trans tape, I would highly recommend it. But if you don't have a binder and you're like looking to other binder alternatives, um, I would like see how much those pros and cons would affect you personally. So I personally wouldn't say that one is better than the other. It really just depends on you, which is why I made this video. I have also noticed that my own personal dysphoria has, calm, has calmed down quite a considerable amount. My chest area does give me the most dysphoria out of all of my body, like physical features. Um, so if you do like experience frequent dysphoria with your chest, this is like a great solution because you don't have to just you don't have to like destroy your body while like just calming down something because it is a lot more comfortable so when i do experience like peak dysphoria levels especially with my chest area this has calmed it down quite a lot because i don't have to like just drown myself out in a hoodie or i don't have to destroy my rib cage all i have to do is put on trans tape and i'm like oh good which is a huge huge plus for me because i used to be kind of dangerous with my minding please don't do that i had a lot of scary experiences if when i did overbind so for someone like me that used to do that because of my like extreme chest dysphoria this has been safer and just a lot healthier i can breathe a lot better i can move a lot better i'm not experiencing sharp things of pain when i'm breathing because of my lungs and just in general <laughs> so you if you are one to like find yourself binding unsafely first of all shame on you but also i understand uh this is a great 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 alternative in my opinion because it puts you less at a risk for um destroying or cracking your rib cages because Let's be honest, binding is dangerous. We all know it's dangerous. And if you don't know it's dangerous, binding is dangerous. It's not something to take lightly. And I, I really want to emphasize that. So this is probably, I think in my opinion, the safest way to bind. It's not obviously perfect because, you know, all binding comes with its like, its, its repercussions, but in my opinion, this is the safest way to bind. So if you're like really scared of uh, what a binder or like what a traditional binder could do to you because you know that you're not gonna like, or you're, because you know that you're gonna not wanna follow the rules, even though lots of us stress that you should. Um, but I get it, your dysphoria can be like, absolutely like, it can destroy your life, like for real. Um, this is, this is a great, a great thing that I would totally recommend. My general conclusion is that it could be better than traditional binding. It really just depends on your circumstances. And if you're thinking about trying it out, you have the money, it's safe for you. I totally would recommend it. I hope this video was helpful in any sort of way. This is my second time filming it, um, because my laptop somehow like lost the file. I don't know. So I hope I touched on everything that I needed to um feel free to subscribe if you want to see my face more I'm going to try to upload more and I know I say that quite a bit but <laughs> I really am going to try to upload bi-weekly hold me to it uh comment any other things you would like to see hit the thumbs up if you like the video hit the dislike button if you don't like me it does not matter um I just hope this helped make sure you eat and drink water and bind safely please thank you for watching